Lobby Tools, legislative news and information systems, on the web at lobbytools.com. Governor-elect Rick Scott appeared nervous and even came across as a little bit shy in his first post-election visit to the office he'll hold for the next four years. One thing, uh, the gov I asked the governor, I said, okay, so, what, so what's your uh, soundest, uh, you know, what's best advice? And the first thing he said is that, uh, he says, follow your heart. Uh, so, which I, makes all the sense in the world to me. During his campaign, the governor-to-be ended most commercials with a simple message. Let's get to work. Scott told reporters that's what voters expect. The reason I, I won the election is over one issue, and that's getting the state back to work. And so, what uh, my whole goal in, uh, in the things I'm going to focus on when I uh, take office is how are we going to get the state back to work. Scott is also facing some minor challenges from legislative leaders. State lawmakers are poised to override two gubernatorial vetoes next week. Both would have an impact on the governor's power going forward. One bill would take away the sole oversight of the state agency responsible for managing state government and construction. The other would require legislative approval of executive branch rulemaking. Scott was asked what he thought about the power grab. I, I don't. Uh, I don't think anybody's trying to go after my power. I think that uh, you know they're they're following through on things they uh, they believe in, and we're reviewing that, and uh, everything will work out. I'm sure. Rick Scott will officially be sworn in on January 4th. In Tallahassee, I'm Mike Masalinda reporting.